Hello, my name is Sarah Nune. I am from Life in the Nations Church, and today the title of my message is A Christian Mama Mindset. Um, the references I'll be using is 1 Corinthians 11, 1, um, Ephesians 5, 1 to 2, and Matthew 5, 16. I am an older sister, meaning I have a younger sister, meaning I have the responsibility to be a model to her, meaning she is able to learn from my mistakes and live her life through my growth. I want to take this model aspect and create this into a mindset. Now you've heard of the CNN, today you're going to hear about the CMM, the Christian Model Mindset. To have a Christian model mindset means to have your mindset on what the Spirit desires. That's in Romans 8, 5. We must have a mindset like Christ, who humbled himself and submitted himself to obedience even until death. Philippians 2, 4 to 5. In 1 Corinthians 11, 1, it says, Follow my example as I have followed Christ. And Paul is talking to the Corinthians, those who did not have access to the Gospels. They did not see Jesus in his walk. They did not see Jesus in his teachings. But they did see Paul. Paul was an imitator of Christ. And Paul was a model for the Corinthians. And therefore, the Corinthians were able to follow Christ. So we all know what a Lamborghini is, right? It actually started off as a tractor. I did not know this until now. But I'm not going to talk about the old, I'll talk about the new. Apparently, the newest model is the Lamborghini Aventador. Saying it right, hopefully. So they have brilliant scientists, right? They're putting effort into this, and they're brilliant engineers coming up with specific components and the, specific, the specifications for this specific car. And based off of this car, more Lamborghinis, Aventadors, will be made. And when you look at a Christian model, we have our specifications. Where? Right here. Mm -hmm. The Word of God. That is our specification. Those are our specifications. We even have models in here. We have people like David. We have people like Esther. We have people like Abraham. Mm -hmm. All those playing um, places of strength and things that we can follow, but they all have a flaw. They all have defects. But one person that does not have a defect is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he humbled himself into a man and he lived a perfect life on earth. He immersed himself into the model mindset and he dedicated his life to teaching others. In Ephesians 5, 1 to 2, it says, Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. There is a lack of models. There is a lack of Christian models in this world, in jobs, in workplaces, in um, sports teams. Even in the church, there's a lack of Christian models. In a world full of Corinthians, we need to be the models. In a world full of those who do not even know who Christ truly is, they need to be able to see Christ in us. In Matthew 5, 16, it says, I put the wrong verse. That's my bad. But in Matthew 5, 16, it talks about, um, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That is ministry. Mm -hmm. So today I pray that we would walk a life of love. That we would walk a life of sacrifice. That we would life, walk a life of obedience. And that every one of us would approach life with a model mindset. With a Christian model mindset. Thank you. Yeah.